The term mutual aid basically just means when people band together to meet immediate survival needs, usually because of a shared understanding that the systems in place aren't coming to meet them, or certainly not fast enough, if at all, and that we can do it together right now. So usually you see them really visibly during kind of sudden disasters like earthquakes, storms, floods, where people are rescuing each other or distributing water or distributing masks, things like that. But there's also an ongoing history of people um, and a contemporary reality of people doing mutual aid projects to deal with the ongoing disasters of the systems we live under. So an example a lot of people have heard of is no more deaths in Arizona, which puts um, water into the desert and food so that people who are crossing hopefully are less, it's less mortal for them. Um, or abortion funds that help people access abortion right now, or bail funds, as you mentioned, or projects to help people coming out of foster care or out of prison find housing, or prison pen pal projects, or child care collectives. Those are all sort of the ongoing ways people are meeting each other's needs. And I think the most probably visible historical example of mutual aid in the U.S. that people talk about a lot is, of course, of course the uh, Black Panther parties, um, free breakfast programs and health programs, um, which were a vital part of the party's work and have, it's a good example of how social movements often, pretty much always centrally um, organize mutual aid because people come into social movements to get immediate needs met and they also desperately want to help others facing what they're facing and when they're there they can build a shared analysis, hey, why don't we have food? Why don't we have shelter? What systems are in place that we all actually want to get to the root causes of? Um, I think that's one other piece to say about this is that in a country like ours, the story is at least we'll solve the problems. We should change laws or we should get policies passed and you should kind of wait to vote for those people or, or lobby them and ask them to do things. And mutual aid has a really different feeling to it. It's like, you know what? We're not just going to wait and hope that they solve our problems, especially since they have a bad record of not doing that. Um, and especially because most relief doesn't end up reaching the poorest people or the most marginalized or targeted people. Instead, we're going to do something right now to build the world we want to live in. So it's a very empowering, participatory kind of work that tends to build people's ability to mobilize generally. I think one of the most important parts about mutual aid has to do with um, changing the social relationships that we have amongst each other in order to be able to fight beyond this current moment, beyond the current crisis, beyond the current form of a disaster that we're trying to overcome. Um, and so one of the beautiful aspects is that you really don't know where the connections are going to take you. Um, you're going to make and build new relationships that will kind of lead to new projects and will need lead to new um, understandings uh, that will shape the potential future of, you know, your community and beyond. I think the fact that these are like hyper-local projects is actually a very helpful thing because you're definitely going to run into these folks again and they pro it provides a foundation for future political action. Um, if, if it's done in a good way where people feel good about it and good about each other. So I think that's very important. And um, in terms of where people can go to find some of these mutual aid projects, there's a new hub that was created um, that, uh, that somebody put together using all of these different um, uh, how do you call it, all the different Google Docs that have been coming up and circulating so that people could find each other and find themselves. And I will send that, um, because I don't have the actual link for it right now, um, but I will send that over so that you can put it on your site. Um, and that's a way where people can connect. Uh, people can go to Twitter, go to Instagram, go to Facebook. There's so many Facebook pages that have come up.